Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for today so few days back we reviewed the another champ of android custom rom called as cr droid for oneplus 6 and 60. cr droid is based on the sources from legendary custom rom lineage os so it's obvious we will get the best stability performance and battery life we already done the in-depth review you can check that from the link given under the video description as of now, Superior OS and Rising OS didn't getting updates, so I decided to give review of each and every update for CR Droid. On 3rd of June, we got 8 another update, CR Droid 9.5. If you are already using the CR Droid, you will get the OT notification of new update, or you can directly flash the full ROM zip file via TWRP without formatting data. Its link is available under the video description. Today in this video, we will thoroughly check out the port phone details, we will see what's new features and changes has been done in new update. We did the Geekbench performance testing, UI bench and the new screen touch sampling test for this ROM. At last I tested are all previous bugs fixed or not with my final verdict. So watch the video till the end, now without further ado, let's get started. The new adventure. After update, let's directly jump under the about phone section. Here you can see this is the same Android 13 base ROM with the same material clock history. CR Droid version is 9.5, old version was 9.4. Security patch is of same 5th May 2023. The most important part of this update is kernel. It is the same 4.9.337 but it's now built with the latest Clang toolchain version 17. All the kernel commits are updated from the latest sources of Lineage OS 20 and Banana Droid. Build date of this ROM is 3rd June 2023. There are so much code changes has been done in this new update that can't be shown visibly here. I can guarantee this is the most stable build based on the latest sources. Now let's start with the performance testing. As usual, ROM has but smooth performance. All the things like apps opening, closing, switching between applications, scrolling, swiping. These are blazing fast. This time we also check out the RAM management of the ROM because developer has did the Z RAM right back which is mostly matched with the Pixel 3 XL commits. I opened so many applications in the background including this simple Angry Bird game and we will run the Geekbench test. After completing the test we will see if all the applications remains in the background or not. ROM runs on the adaptive screen refresh rate. It may vary from 3 to maximum 60 as per activities of the screen. This is the battery saving approach and we didn't guess any 460 option in the ROM or inside the developer setting. Now let's run the Geekbench test. Here we got the score of 561 and 1987 for single and multi-core respectively. For last build we got the results like 559 and 1998. Both the builds had exactly same results and similarly real life performance also felt exactly same. For OpenGL and Hukang Graphics GPU testing, I got the score of 2023 and 1924 respectively. While for the old build, these scores were 2014 and 1993. Here again, slight difference was there, only Hukang score slightly improved for the new build. So, numerical and real life performance of the ROM is same for both old and new build. Now, let's check out the RAM management. Here, all the applications found intact in the memory except one application that is dialer. Even after 20 minutes of intense Geekbench testing, all the application remained intact, even the game application is running in the background. So we can conclude this ROM has amazing RAM management even on such low RAM device of 6GB. It is definitely the ZRAM effect of the kernel that developers has implemented. Now let's do the first new test we did for this ROM only that is the screen touch sampling rate testing. More the screen touch sampling rate, more will be the screen touch responsiveness. Apps and game activities will open faster with the higher screen touch sampling rate. Install and open the screen touch sampling rate application. Now move your finger on the screen. On the right we guess the input and on the left we guess the output rates for the touch sampling. For this device we got the minimum 59 to maximum 118 Hz of the screen touch sampling rate. If you check our old OnePlus 9 RT videos for the stock Oxon OS and for Lineage OS, there you got the maximum screen touch sampling rate of 125Hz, even though OnePlus 9 RT is capable of 600 touch sampling rate. 
so it's very surprising this six year old device giving very good touch sampling rate which is nearly same as nine rt results running on the stock oxonus firmware so even after six year we can consider this device for the decent gaming experience now let's do our old test we did last time that is jitter testing go to the settings there go to the device extras in this we get the jitter option tap on it here at the top we get the jitter value and at the bottom we get the graph with the blue line indicating the jitter value this value remained below 0.5 most of the time which is considered as the best result but if you run the test in the background by using some applications then some fluctuations were found jitter value raised above 1 millisecond still device has a decent jitter score so rom has very good in app user experience scrolling and swiping etc now it's time to show you some changes i found if you check the shared word setting now some additional features were available for full details of customization please refer our old video if you check the qs panel setting here you now get the bunch of different header images header image will be available on the top of qs panel to change the qs header image just change them using slider available who gets the QS panel background transparency slider which gives something different glossy look to QS panel for clock fonts who gets the bunch of different styles now which helps to enhance the look of your lock screen who gets the double line clock position slider by using this who can move the double line clock to the bottom middle or on the top of lock screen even who gets the slider setting to increase the size of double line clock Except these other settings are old and we already seen them in detail during old review video. But in the last review, tilt ambient display was not working in the ambient display setting. Now it's working where to just tilt the phone when it it's in a standby mode. But still it's buggy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it's not. Please refer our old video for in-depth review of all the features. One new setting has been added by the developers in the device extras that is the Adreno GPU thermal throttling toggle. This is specially kernel commit which allows to reduce the GPU frequencies to lower down the device temperature so ultimately there will be less CPU throttling will happen. I never tested this device for CPU throttling because it's too old device with the old sock so it's not recommended to run the heavy CPU intensive test. which may harm your device still this new setting will really help to improve the stability of device during the cpu intensive task now it's time for review of all bugs are they really solved in this build or not but none of bugs were sorted last time we got the bug related to lift to check feature available under the jhs setting of the device but still it's not solved in this build device screen didn't waking up instead of this you can use the ambient display jhs to get the ambient display wake up except the full screen wake up drm info showing the device certification as l3 which is common for all the roms it can't be solved unless and until we lock the bootloader next bug is for the media cover art on the low screen this feature is not working for any of custom rom for any device i tested for android 13 builds Except this box none of series issue i found who already did the full in depth review of this rom they record the best performance stability and battery life for this rom and this new update is cherry on the top for me now it's my favorite custom rom after end of siberia was support so if you are interested in this then definitely go with this beauty that's it for today guys hope you like my work then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.